In one of the poorest neighborhoods in a city scarred by war, Mawa Shimmery is trying to give her younger brothers and sister a better start in life than she had. Mawa lost her leg in an American air raid in 2003 when she was 12. She never went back to school. Now, with both her parents dead, she is left to bring up three younger children. She came to our office in Baghdad, keen to see the television pictures which captured her agony in the aftermath of that bombing raid. <laughs> her reaction is surprising. She laughs when she remembers how her hair looked back then. But she remembers the horrors of Iraqi civilian life during the Allied invasion too. At that age I didn't understand anything, only that I was hurting. I spent all day crying with the pain. And for Mawa, the war will never really be over. So Mawa needs physiotherapy, aftercare, maybe even counselling, a lifetime of treatment. And you only have to spend five minutes in this hospital in Sada City, not far from her home, to sense that they're the kind of services that post-war Iraq is struggling to provide for its people. <laughs> we were there to talk about rehabilitation, but within five minutes, the victim of a shooting was brought in. Just an argument on I didn't get to take a bullet. Iraq is less dangerous than it was, but this sort of thing happens all the time and soaks up limited medical resources. Doctors who remember 2003 say things are getting better. Don't uh, <laughs> make me remember this period. It was very, very bad period. The dead and the dying. Yes, yes, yes. It was really? a very bad period. What, what, what's the approach? What is the first thing you do? Well, uh, whatever it's possible, whatever we can do. We don't leave anyone. Whatever we can do, we do it for you. Marwa's area of Baghdad is deeply conservative and desperately poor. Here, her disability will damage her prospects for marriage. Advocates of the Allied invasion may argue it opened up new possibilities for Iraq. But not for Marwa. Kevin Connolly, BBC News, Baghdad.